Let's get to another big story that we are watching. Amazon posting better than expected first quarter earnings after the closing bell last night. The tech giant catching a tailwind from its lucrative web services segment, AWS. Sales there spiking 17% from a year ago. The company is saying that Gen AI was the driving force behind that growth. But it does expect those spending on AI to be higher here for quarters to come. So what does all that mean for the company's bottom line? We want to bring in Brent Thill, Jeffrey's tech research analyst, here to break all of this down. Um, Brett, it's great to see you again. We've talked to you time and time again over the last several weeks as to why Amazon is one of your top picks within this sector. So what did you think of last night's report? They put up a, a really good uh, mixed box of goods, as we, we put it in the Amazon world. When you opened it up, there were a lot of good things. You had AWS, which beat 17% uh, growth. The street was looking for 15. You had the ad business uh, up 24, which is a little bit better than the 23 the street was looking for. And then op income was up 37% ahead of the street. So Amazon works when you're in harvest mode, not when you're in invest mode. And they're harvesting a lot of the investments still from what happened through the COVID era and when they built out. Uh, so we were really encouraged by the discipline on the bottom line. We're encouraged by uh, what's happening in the top line. If, if you want to poke holes, um, you know, Europe wasn't as good as the U.S. Uh, the consumer was okay, the numbers were in line, they weren't off the charts amazing. So uh, I think overall, even while they weren't great in Europe, their profitability in Europe was phenomenal and they actually turned the corner and produced uh, profitability in their international segment in, in the retail business, which was great to see. Um, so the bears are gonna po point to, you know, we're never gonna see an AWS margin at 38%. Again, that was an anomaly in Q1. We're, we're going to continue to see the guidance was, 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 wasn't as good as everyone thought for Q2. Um, so I, I think, you know, again, not a, not a blowout success, but certainly uh, we felt very, very good about what we're seeing and the encourage, encouraging that AWS, again, that's half of the market cap in Amazon. Uh, the cloud business had uh, a really, really good uh, momentum and can, will continue to accelerate through the year as we're going to see AI now really uh, to start to spark the story on the AWS platform. Yeah, Brent, I don't, I don't want to really poke holes. I actually want to nerd out about this advertising business that you mentioned a moment ago here. What, what type of growth rate do you think they can continue to see there? I mean, that's another high margin business for the company. Yeah, the, the, the advertising business is in great shape and they just started to bring Prime to uh, Prime uh, Video, advertising Prime Video. And that just started to happen. And so what's going to what's you're going to start to see is, you know, when you start to go on and look for toothpaste or you look for anything online, they're going to be able to do sponsored ads that show up. Uh, now what's going to happen is when you log in, you're effectively going to have you, you may be interested in tennis, but I like golf. So you're going to see the tennis ads for all the new Wilson rackets. I'm going to see the new Titleist ads. So they're going to be able to gear advertiser advertisement to each of us, depending on what you like. And that's really powerful. And I think they're going to invest more in sports going forward. That's going to get more people to the platform. They're also going to invest, I think, in more daily content. If they do that, you're going to stop going from watching Prime once or twice a month to watching it hopefully every day. And if they do that and they can gear this advertising on video, there's a whole nother leg to their advertising opportunity that we haven't even seen yet that's going to filter into video. So we're really bullish about that opportunity. Uh, again, it's a really high margin business. They already have the channels, they have the, the eyeballs. And you start to think about grocery. You know, if they add $10 a month unlimited grocery delivery, would how many grocery companies are gonna wanna, uh, or fresh food companies are gonna wanna advertise on the platform? Um, so there's, we, we think there's still a real opportunity that is their fast, one of their fastest growing businesses at a high margin. And so that, again, in, in a great, great position, uh, the two businesses we were really watching were AWS, the ad business, and then the operating income for the core retail business. All three, a little bit better, not a blowout, but just consistent, steady returns. And and that's good. Uh, they pointed to no uh, concern signals other than saying, you know, Europe's a little weaker than the U.S. That's That's about it. Brent, real quick on Amazon, and then we want to get your thoughts on Pinterest uh, very quickly. But the weakness, though, in retail, I know you were saying you were closely watching the consumer side of the business, the retail side of the business. Any concern there or the strength 
really that they're seeing in AWS, the ad business, enough to offset any of those concerns? Yeah, um, n n n I, we didn't get a lot of detail on that. I think uh, right right now, uh, the retail side of the house, that, that was more in line. Uh, so I think everyone's watching what's going to happen to the state of the consumer. You saw Starbucks no numbers weren't great. Uh, you've seen some other retail numbers where we're, we're starting to see a little bit of a fall off. We've talked to a lot of different consumer uh, based CEOs and there's definitely a little underpinning softness in the consumer. Uh, nothing too, uh, too massive. Uh, but again, I think when you think about the bulk of the profitability, the bulk of the excitement are in these flagship cloud and advertising businesses. As long as those stay strong and let's say the consumer gets a little weaker, they can offset some of that. And that's the beauty of the portfolio that Amazon has. And mm -hmm. investors are going to value, are valuing, you know, half the market cap of Amazon is the AWS business. Yeah. So as long as that stays strong and they're going to accelerate, we see that, you see it in their backlog growth. Uh, backlog up 41% in Q4, was up 20 something percent in, in Q1. They're still, you know, showing really, really good growth. Growth ahead of revenue, you know that revenue growth is going to accelerate. Mm -hmm. Who knows what the consumer is going to buy next, the next four months. I can't predict that. But this cloud business gives you great prediction, and that's why I think stocks, uh, you know, rallying up today. It sounds like those Titleist T100 irons uh, that might be on your purchase list for the next year here, uh, Brent. Got the T100s is already, so you know I'm not good <laughs> enough for the T100s. That's your kind of club. I'm trying. I'm trying to hit them. We got bribe there that you wanted to get in, Brad. Oh, no, no. Brent, let's talk. You were talking about some of the strength here within AI and within advertising rev, uh, business when it comes to Amazon. You can pretty much say the same when you take a look at Pinterest. Those numbers coming in better than expected. We're seeing a massive reaction in shares today. Can they keep this momentum going? I'm not the lead analyst, but my partner who covers it, it's one of his favorite picks at Jeffries. Uh, so the underpinning uh, opportunity of Pinterest, uh, you know, and, and, and again, I, I'm a user on the platform and I think everyone has seen this where there's so much great content, but how do you actually transact? And solving that gap is such an incredible opportunity. It, you know, uh, if you could effectively buy the couch you're looking at for your house uh, by looking at, at someone else's couch and, and you like it, how it looks in their, their house uh, and be able to do that seamlessly like it's that's a gold mine, and I think they can bridge that gap over time. Um, so clearly, the new management teams having a big impact. Uh, the platforms having a bigger impact. Um, they're they're focused on profitability, and a, again, I think you know the sentiment went pretty sour in a lot of these these ad names in Q1, given some of the seasonality. But uh, you know, continues to to be from my partner's perspective, who's a lead analyst, one of his favorite names for the year, and continue to recommend the stock here.